Sitting in the hospital in the ED, and I'm facing another admission to the psych ward. Life's not going great. She's looking at um, changing around my medication a little bit, we're upping some of the doses. And yeah, the thing is they don't want to up the doses like too much in one go, especially in young girls, because they have sense like certain sensitivities to different medications. So that's fun. I also mentioned something about the nightmares and they're seeing what they can do around that. But at the moment they're really just looking up to to work on the mood um, stability side of things. She also mentioned to me working through the trauma um, aspect and that is like a high like concentrated therapy so it'll take a lot of work and it might mean that I'm in the hospital for a long time because you can't just have two sessions of trauma stuff that'll leave you hanging and it'll be terrible you need to like go at it multiple times and it is a really triggering experience and me as someone who gets triggered easily by that kind of stuff I may be unsafe to do it out in the community and being in a hospital in a safe environment may be the best place to work through a lot of my trauma so yeah that's where I'm at at the minute I'm starting to feel kind of lonely it's my biggest thing when I come into the psych ward is people can come visit you all the time but it's not realistic for everyone to come visit you like every every day and it's not realistic for some people to come visit you every day. They just, you know, they have their own lives too. Yeah, I'm starting to miss everyone. And I kind of feel, yeah, like everyone's gonna forget about me almost while I'm in here. And it really sucks. Um, that's the really hard part of it. Also, the days drag by. The days are completely dragging by. I feel like I have nothing to do. I find out on December 1st, so in about like five, six days, whether or not I got accepted to med lab science. And then is when I'll start working on learning science concepts and things like that. I still have to figure out a system to learn things, like whether I'm gonna, cause I don't have my iPad with me, so I don't know how I'm gonna take notes. I'm thinking about using Notion. I just, oh, Notion is very finicky for me. Um, so I may just use word docs and try and like get a hold on understanding some concepts. Yeah, because I think I am gonna use my iPad to take notes, even though uh, it's not the most practical thing, is it? We're well, taking lecture notes. I don't know, we'll have to see how we go. But yeah, that is where I'm at at the minute. Day three of the psych ward, yeah. It is absolutely boring out here. Oh my gosh. It's so nice though. It's adventure weather. I made the hoops, put these little beads on them. I think they're kind of cute.
Friday so it's day four and I've just woken up and I spoke to the psychiatrist already we're just gonna see how things go today my friends are coming to visit me and my partner's coming to visit me so I'm really excited for that um that'll be really nice because it's really hard it's really easy to feel really isolated in here um yeah it gets quite lonely i mean there's other people you can talk to obviously and people have really good friends here but i'm a sort of keep to myself kind of person in these environments the plan for today is to sit outside do some journaling and yeah take it from there see how that goes